You guys know that I would sell the seven seas for a good sandwich, but thanks to Jen on Facebook, I only had to drive as far as Portage Park. I'm ready to go overboard with Charlie Noble. Let's talk about Charlie Noble. Where does the name come from? What's the theme for this place? Do you, do you collect boat paintings or something? You know, it was the closest I could get to owning my own boat. I have lots of Matchbox classic cars because I'm never gonna be allowed to own my own Mustang or my own, you know, GT anything. There was evidently historically a captain by the name of Charles Noble who made his crew just keep the smokestack spotless. And they kind of resented him a little bit for it. We run a pretty tight ship here. You're very themed. You're almost swashbucklery, pirate-esque. What's the, what's the Charlie Noble way of doing things? The food that we're trying to make here is food that harkens back to, you know, maybe it's your childhood, back in the day when food was just pure. We wanted to just be more thoughtful. What do you think we should put together? I've got one for you. Tell me. The swashbuckler. We use high quality French bread, sliced choice roast beef, green peppers, onions, and our homemade mac and cheese sauce. Do you want to swashbuck your way back into the kitchen? Ahoy. Okay. Ahoy. We're gonna ahoy this way. We're below deck right now. Just continuing that nautical theme. This uh, bread. This is from Cecilia Bakery right up the street. CB alum. We love that. Shout out to those guys. Hello. Oh my goodness, that bread is so soft. Nice big handful of the onions and peppers. Third of that amount on the mushrooms. You know, if your day gig doesn't work out, we can certainly. The only place I'm good for in a place like this is the poop deck. Who's your favorite swashbuckler of all time? You know, like Errol Flynn or... Sure, Blackbeard. Mine is obviously Robert Shaw from Swashbuckler is my favorite swashbuckler. There she goes, my friend! Let's go ahead and drop the, the roast beef. Aye, aye, Captain. This one's from Joseph's Finest Meats, also down the street from Shut us. up, another CB alarm. This is all for one sandwich? That's all for one sandwich. Goodness. So, I hope you saved some room. Because if that wasn't enough for you in a sandwich, wait, there's more. Oh, there's more, all right. Big ladles full of our homemade mac and cheese sauce on there. My name is Elliot Bambra. You killed my teddy bear. Prepare to die. Now I'm ready to eat. I do love the swashbuckler. Uh, the melted cheese, I think, like really elevates it. It tastes so good. It's always like a good meal. Everyone we spoke to spoke so fondly and warmly of you and your wife and what you guys have done here. We're all about just quality every step of the way, and we serve it with love. Let's see. Clinker. Cheers. This represents Portage Park, because you sandwiched in local bread, local meat. This is the happy, warm place in the middle that everything comes together. This is my new favorite swashbuckler. Your new favorite? It's not Montoya, it's not Robert Shaw, it's this right here. Love it. And this guy. Yeah.